Hey guys, Tini here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to import hairs on your character in Roblox Studio. So let's get started. First, you want to open up Roblox Studio and load into your base plate. Alright, so once you're loaded, you're gonna have to get this plugin, Load Character by Already Pearls. I'm gonna link that down in the description. It's free, don't worry. This is the light version. I have the pro version because I just want to support him. So you're gonna want to just spawn in your character and make sure you you check spawn at origin because if you are doing this for importing your models into Blender, it doesn't spawn like around like here or over here once you import that into Blender. So once you guys spawn your character. Uh, let me just remove all my accessory here so you guys can see better and my hair as well one way to do this is to go inside the model the toolbox right here if you guys don't have the toolbox then you just click this home tab and click toolbox right there so one way is to use this and um, you just search hair you can search here, you can see all the hairs here, or you can search wig. All these wigs will pop up. You guys will want to find, oh my friends online, ignore that. You guys will want to find a wig that has the hat icon when you click on the magnifying glass right here. Because when you spawn this, you could actually move this onto your character and it will automatically place on your head but if you have if you just spawn this one in this one see it just said part and I will just go ahead and move it has two part huh so if you just do that it doesn't place it on your your head automatically like the the one with the hat icon so yeah but if you guys don't don't want to do all that and um you didn't just move it but personally for me i don't like moving it because i just want it to be perfect oh and also if if you can't move this like it gets stuck make sure to check um collision off so you can move it freely around and rotate it or whatever you want if you prefer to do that one or another method is to you go to the actual Roblox website and go to the avatar shop. Oh, and ignore my background. Um, no, seriously, I ignore it. So you go to community creation and go to hair. You see, there's a. Uh, let me just click that. So once you're here, um, I'm gonna link another extension or plugin, whatever. It's called BTR. Once you got that extension, don't worry, it's not a virus. Once you download it, it's gonna be like, you're gonna see these, and um, you could have these other options. And basically, the UI is gonna look different. And plus, you're gonna have this download button here and just this uh, plugin here. Once you guys got that extension, you can click download. It's gonna save an RBXM file. Okay, so once you guys got that RBXM file, you can go to Roblox Studio and then you can import that file into Roblox Studio. Alright, so once you guys got your RBXM file, it's gonna look like this. It can be anything, to be honest. It can be anything. Um, it can be a hat. Uh, I don't know, wing. I don't know. It can be anything. It's got it's gonna have this icon, this hat icon, and it's drag it and boom. It's gonna place it right, right on your head. And you don't have to do any movement whatsoever. You can do that method, but you have to download the extension if you want. Or you can just search it up on here on a toolbox and uh, be lucky to find a wig that looks good. So it's up to your choice, but yeah, that's two methods, two or two ways to do it. 
So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'm out.